Who's Chief Ike Pareto, but really hard getting him on the show after that whole incident. Um, so uh, we'll try again. Uh, 651, let's go to the K-Wave News Zoom Room. Our first guest of the morning who just finished our virtual coffee and donuts here, as we always provide our guests uh, with a little virtual coffee and donuts. A compliment to them for coming on the show. Uh, Jess, I hope you like my grandma's recipe. <laughs> Good. It's all right, huh? Damn, what happened? You're wearing the N95. What, what's going on? What do we need to know? <laughs> take it off. I'm in the car. No, 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 no. Take it off. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. Hey, Jay. Madasa, you got a haircut, huh? <laughs> uh, good morning, guys. Jess Garcia, the deputy over at Department of Public Works. Jess, can we just start? Uh, what's the status of operations at the One Stop? So what we have at the One Stop is... Uh, you got to call in for an appointment. We have uh, numbers that were put out um, to the public uh, to call in for uh, public works, uh, EPA, revenue and tax, uh, Guam Fire, public health. So so you got to call in those numbers and they'll give you an appointment time to come in and, and they'll, they'll entertain the, those people. So what kind of traffic are you guys getting up there? Uh uh, right now, we're, we're getting a lot of calls coming in, so so they're just taking and, and uh, making them appointment times to come in, so we can process them as soon as uh, as they uh, come in and get them out. Uh, also, Jess, you know uh, when we were kind of moving forward with sending the kids back to school, I remember that you guys were coming up with the busing plan. But I'm just wondering, uh, have you abandoned all the planning since uh, we're not going back to school, or are you still figuring it out? What's the status of that? So if no, we do still end up. Based. Yeah, well, it's still in place, the, the busing uh, plan that we have. Uh, we just haven't uh, tried it out yet to see if it's going to work. Uh, we just uh, we see how we're going to handle the school uh, situation. What are you hearing, though? Uh, nothing yet so far. <laughs> Hey, could you provide a, an update? I know that there was a meeting. I want to say it was uh, last week on the Guam Transportation uh, Improvement Prep Program, the GTIP. Yeah, uh, the director, Vince uh, Ariola was handling that meeting, and I, I think it was postponed oh. last week uh, regarding the, is that for the weight, the weight uh, restrictions on the vehicles, mm -hmm. heavy, uh, heavy loads. So that's primarily what what that was all about. Yes. I see. Okay. What about the status of other uh, public works operations, like uh, you know, fixing the road and all that? What are, What are you guys uh, doing in the PCOR one? Uh, so so we just uh, uh, finished the paving up on the Malolo Highway. Uh, we still need to do the striping uh, on that uh, road. It was just finished last week. So. That, that's uh, our biggest project that we had. It took us a while to get it done. Yeah. Are you guys still doing that uh, pilot program, bringing the uh, quarantine passengers to uh, the funeral homes? Uh, not lately. Uh, we haven't received any requests so far uh, in the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. What was your assessment of how the pilot program went when, when you guys had uh, the first the first week of implementation. Hmm. Oh, that, that, that's a public health issue with the, <laughs> with that office. we just take the request and we provide the service. <laughs> it sounds like it wasn't really successful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, what else are you guys uh, up to over at uh, Public Works? Oh, well, right now we're just trying to, uh, uh, get our, our roads back in uh, in order uh, with the grass cutting and stuff. So I got my guys out uh, doing grass cutting and and, um, and road repair. I'm sorry, and what? Road repair. Oh, where are you guys repairing roads? Out, uh, from all the rains uh, last week and the week before. Uh, we have a lot of washout roads, so I got my guys out doing those road repairs. Mm -hmm. You know what? Ask whatever is whatever is going to be done about the the flooding that's always going yeah, on. Yeah, Jess, down what at is going to be done at Polaris Point? Okay, so Polaris Point, uh, 
we, we found the, the drainage uh, uh, part there that, that needs to be cleared. And I, I'm trying to schedule it up for, uh, for clearing uh, on the maintenance side. Uh, we're just waiting for the weather to, to uh, dry up the ground a little bit more where I can get sent some uh, equipment in to pull out the debris in the channel on that riverbed. Mm -hmm. You, you you just found it like uh, nobody knew it was there or it, it's been there but it's been overgrown and that's why there's restrictions of the water flow going out so mm -hmm. i'm, I'm going to try to uh, get it uh cleared up on the maintenance site and and see if you'll, you'll allow the water to flow out quicker mm -hmm. is that a, is there any land issues is that uh gov guam land are you able to go in there and do what you have to do well it's a maintenance thing it, it's the it's been there um and, you know, uh, I guess it w wasn't being uh, managed uh, for a while. And no there's a lot of over um, uh, trees and stuff that are, are laying in the riverbed. So I think if I clear that out, it, it may uh, uh, get the water uh, to subside faster. When was the last time it was cleared? Man, I, I, it's, I guess it's been a while. Could we FOIA that on the last time it was cleared? Uh. You can, but I don't know if we have any records on it. Wow, that long. Wow, so that's that's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of frustrating because all these people have been sitting in, you know, five feet of water in rainy season, and it's only because Lana we're not doing the routine maintenance. Well, that's why uh, I, I I met with uh, some of the property owners uh, uh, out there, and um, it's right there by the Polaris. Uh, you know where the Polaris missile was at? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, small uh, channel going out. Is there any special uh, considerations you guys have to do when clearing the drain around the missile? No, it's not there anymore. It was removed. <laughs> so when are you guys gonna? Uh, do you guys have to award that out, or that's that's a DPW in-house type uh, of project? My uh, DPW staff. Uh, you know, it's not a big uh, area to work with uh, large equipment. So we're gonna probably have to do a lot of handwork and and uh, uh, small equipment to get in to clear it up. What about other uh, trouble areas when it comes to the flooding? Are we looking at what uh, the cause has been in those other areas? Well, like, like for uh, Marisa, you know, you, that's always been the the problem. You got a river coming down by the Barcinas area and it makes a ninety degree uh, right turn, and then it comes into a, a kind of like the culvert. It's a three compartment covert. That's where the bamboo gets always hung up. Mm -hmm. So we got to just go out there when it rains and it gets clogged up, we clear it out. What about uh, Tumon? Are you guys working on that? Tumon right now, uh, GBB has that project on, on under their belt. Uh, they got a contract to clean out the box coverts in, the, in that area. So that's ongoing as we speak. Wow. But, but DBW is not involved with that at all. Well, it's a GVB funded uh, project, not a DPW right. project. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of back back to Polaris, because that's just a really bad situation every time it, it rains really hard. When do you guys plan on starting uh, the cleanup there and when do you project it will be finished? Well, if the weather uh, continues, I guess, uh, to dry up the ground, I can probably start it probably by next week or the following week. Mm -hmm. I just really need it to be real dry. We uh, went in, uh, I think, last year uh, to try to clear part of that uh, area in, in Polaris, and our equipment got stuck. Wow. We have, so, a, you know, we have a question from you know, one of our uh, streamers. What about the Kinenis in Palantat Jonya? Palantat Jonia. Okay, so so the one in Palantat Jonia, that that's uh, I believe uh, going into a private property behind the residence, mm. and that uh, that's a big issue down there too. Those guys always flood out. Also, yeah, yeah. I've been there. I had to roll up my pants. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, even though it is private property, is it because the water is coming through the public easement? Is there anything you guys can do for them or? Well, it's not basically the, just the easements. It's coming from the, because they're they're in the lower area, so the water uh, uh, from the valleys and the hills in that area flow into their uh, area and then goes to the back towards the order.
All right. What about uh, traffic uh, highway uh, division, uh, Jess? Anything going on with, uh, with them? What kind of mobility have you guys been seeing during this uh, so-called PCOR 1 lockdown? Um, the thing we, we have a couple of days that are going to be going out, but it's real slow because of this lockdown. Um, they, they're getting some bids out, uh, for like, uh, uh, Marine Drive right by ITC going up towards, uh, uh, from Horse and Cow ITC up towards uh, the airport. We're going to, we, uh, pave that road. Well, how long do you think that's going to take? Uh, we're, we're planning, um. Uh, that's that's a a, a kind of big project. Maybe a couple of months we should start it up. But uh, we're looking at that intersection at ITC. Uh, how how are we gonna handle that? Either we close it off uh, for a whole weekend mm. and portion of it, and then. But we, that's right. It's a lot of planning that we're doing right now. Mm. See so how we're gonna handle that uh, section of uh, roadway because that's a, the busiest intersection we have. Amen. Uh, we got a comment here from Adrian Cruz. Uh, Jess, the last flooding we had. Mr. Garcia and his folks were very quick in responding to us here, Melissa. Very much appreciated. Good job, DPW and Mayor Ernest's staff. Thank you. Yeah, day. <laughs> That's why you do it, right, Jess? Well, you know, you do it to help people, you know. Uh, my staff at DPW, I call them out. It don't matter... Uh, roads, uh, any support that we can give the other government agencies, we, we, uh, we're out there, especially with two of the mayors. You know, I know the mayors have a lot of requests coming in, but there's only so much staff we have and so much equipment, you know. Yeah, we actually have and, a know, couple of mayors. Uh, Mayor Paul McDonald's just listening to you right now. He's got, kind of got this smirk on like, yeah, we got a lot of requests, Jess. <laughs> Mayor, you want to come on yes. and bestie Jess about your requests or what? <laughs> nah, and bestie Jess about your request. Get it off your chest. <laughs> yes. So, so we, we try to help the mayors out as much as we can. And, you know, we uh, go out and make the assessment, see which is the priority for them to do it. We can't just uh, dedicate ourselves to one mayor and keep yeah. our equipment in one. Pitch. We go out and make the assessment. But let's get Mayor Paul on. Uh, mayor Paul, can you unmute yourself? Because uh, it looks like you have a... Uh... A uh, comment for uh, Jess here. <laughs> Are you cool with Mayor Paul, Jess? Can you hear me? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, I'm saying Jess is a good man. There you I go. I know that if uh, our, our request uh, comes in, it may take some time, but it, it, uh, he'll be fun. Let's get Mayor Al on, too, while we're, we're waiting. The mayors are starting to come into the yeah. Zoom room uh, here, guys. Uh, Mayor Paul, you tag the We got virtual donuts and coffee right there if you want. Yeah. I, <laughs> What's yeah, the donuts? I, I can uh, grab some, but grab and go. Right. There you go. <laughs> uh, Mayor Al from Monkey Town will go ahead and unmute yourself. And we have Jess Garcia. The He's the deputy, but, uh, you know, he's got the pool over there at Public Works. Uh, so, Mayor Al, any uh, comment here for Jess? Any special requests? You got to unmute yourself, Mayor. Well, yeah, we un, can hear something. Yeah, we can hear something. Well, anyway, while so. we wait for uh, the mayor to come on, you do have one request here, Jess. It's from a Teresa Garcia. The main road from Summer Homes to Agafa Gumas Jigo needs to be repaired. Potholes, cracked lanes. Jess, please fix this main road. There you go. That's one request. Uh, what, okay. do you, what do you think, I'll Jess? Note I'll take a note of that. All right. All you got to do is just go back to the stream, and you'll have your uh, request list. All right. Uh, Mayor Al, did you have anything for Jess, or can we let him go? Because he's looking nervous, like you got something. Anything going on with me, Al? <laughs> okay. Mayor Al's still figuring out the Zoom, Jess. You're off the hook. Uh, in closing, no uh, Jess, so in closing, what's your uh, message to the people of Guam? Yes, sir. You know, we're out there. We're trying to get as much done as we can with the resources and the manpower we have. You know. So, you know, rest assured, the, the mayors, uh, their, their requests are coming in and we'll, we'll be coming out uh, to meet them and, and make some assessments. Yeah, sir. And so you're going to be paving the main road from Summer Homes to Agafagumas uh, tomorrow? 
Well, actually, that, that's on uh, that's on uh, one of the projects that they, they have on a long term food of pets access road. <laughs> okay, oh, there's Mayor Al. Yeah, you got it. Hi, Mayor Al. Did you have anything for Jess? Did you have any comment or question yeah, for Jess? For, uh, me, uh, please follow up like, with the traffic light. And uh, of course, uh, I know we're waiting. You've always been there for support. Um, of some of the flooding areas and, and uh, the mitigation efforts that we have to do for the roads. Thank you like, for all the support and the research. This is Mossy. Yeah. Mayor Al, which uh, traffic light are you talking about? The one in front of Payless Light. Lana, I, I, I heard him right after that one that just went up. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to check Mayor Rudy. <laughs> all right, all right, Jess, we'll let you go then. Okay, thank, thank you. Thanks, That's that. Thanks, thanks Jess. Jess. Okay. Uh, mayor, stand by. We're going to get a couple more uh, mayors in the Zoom room. We'll take a short break and come back with more of 